Welcome to Arcana. The Babylonians started placing the two wedges sign in places where we would write a zero in our system, which was read as several. Zero is an abstract concept that does not represent a specific quantity, but denotes the absence of value. The invention of zero is attributed to the ancient Hindus, who used it in the 5th century AD to denote an empty space between two numbers. Through Arab influence, zero was introduced to Europe in the 12th century and became an integral part of the Arabic numbering system. There are sources that mention the Indian astronomer and mathematician Brahmagupta, 590 to 670, as the first to treat zero as a number, creating the first rules for performing mathematical operations with it. The wise Hindus saw how to add and subtract zero and concluded that multiplying any digit by zero gave zero. At the same time that this was happening in India, the same conclusion was reached in other parts of the world. Not all cultures had zero within their numerical system. Zero also emerged in Mesoamerica and was devised by the Mesoamerican civilizations before the Christian era. By the Mayan culture, it was possibly used earlier by the Olmec culture. The Romans did not know zero. The first documented use showing the number zero corresponds to the year 36 BC. Using Maya numeration, due to the anomaly introduced in the third place of their positional notation, they were deprived of operational possibilities. Zero is important in mathematics because it allows for the creation of positional numerical systems and the performance of more complex mathematical operations. Without zero, performing arithmetic calculations would be much more difficult, and the creation of positional value-based numbering systems would not be possible. The way we currently use zero is positional. Its value depends on the position it occupies in the digit. In the development of computing, it is common for zero to appear barred. That is, with a line crossing it to avoid confusing it with the letter O. In the Spanish language, the letter O was accented when it was between numbers, to avoid confusing it with zero. This rule was in effect until 2010 by the Rey, Royal Spanish Academy. In addition, in some ancient cultures, zero has been used as a sacred symbol of life and death, and is believed to represent the eternal cycle of creation and destruction. Zero is a special number that has a great impact on mathematics, science, and technology. Its invention and subsequent integration into numbering systems have allowed for the development of more advanced mathematical tools and the creation of more complex technologies. Zero has a profound esoteric meaning and has been used as a symbol in various spiritual traditions. In some esoteric philosophies, Zero represents nothingness, emptiness, and the state of meditation. In this sense, zero is a gateway to the world of spirit and consciousness. In numerology, zero is considered a master number that symbolizes infinity and completeness. It represents unlimited potential and divine perfection and is associated with the universe and cosmic energy. Overall, Zero is a complex symbol that represents a wide range of spiritual and symbolic meanings. It is considered a gateway to divine consciousness and wholeness, and its presence in different cultures and traditions is evidence of its spiritual importance and relevance. In Maya culture, it was represented with the drawing of a snail shell and, for that reason, it was also considered a symbol of periodic regeneration. Also, the zero, corresponding to the Popol Vuh book, also represents the sacrifice of the corn hero to be deposited in the earth and emerge to the heavens as a representation of the sun. For the Egyptians, the zero was an interval for generalization since in some operations, although there was no character to designate it, a blank space was left. The zero also comes to symbolize an object that has no value in itself, but only because of its position. In Mexico, we have the expression es un cero a la izquierda, 
He, she is a zero on the left. Several characteristics of zero are preserved in the major arcana called Lamat. The fool. It should be noted that the concept of zero was used by the Maya at least a thousand years before. The Europeans. Take what serves you from what you hear. This is arcana.